Hey, it's Cal here, and uh, I just wanted to do a video of uh, looking at one of my emails, and it was talking about like archangels, and you know, it's a lot of people, especially religion, is like that old spiritual ego and like dogma and stuff like that of people not seeing how things actually are in. A lot of people that claim to be really religious but aren't really seeing God in a clear manner or I feel like everyone has seen God right because everything is that but I don't think most most people aren't actually seeing the divine they're they're blind they're they're clouded their 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 mind's eyes not open their their hearts not open they can't feel it and so even though people, it's like it's like people are feeling it all the time. That's something I noticed, and maybe people aren't, but me, I've always kind of been spiritual. Even as a kid, it's like when I look back, it's like, oh, what was that feeling on my leg? It's like, oh my God, that was my guide. But it, you know, it was ten, fifteen years down the road that when I look back at that, it's like, oh, that's what that was. And. So I was looking at this email, I was talking about the four archangels, and I go to this meditation in Sedona, or I used to, at Church of the Golden Age, and this lady would always invoke or call in the four archangels of the four directions or whatever. Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael, maybe, I can't remember all of them. But what archangels actually are, and I think this kind of might be what all angels are, is arc. So if you think of an arc as like, well, I also think of arc as like electricity arcing, right? That's kind of how I see it as too. But like the story of Noah, and I don't mean to really get religious, but like the story of Noah, like of the Holy Spirit was was coming into the earth. And it, it, there was a flood, a flood of the Holy Spirit, right? A flood into the earth because our body is the earth. A flood of the Holy Spirit coming into the planet itself through the electromagnetic field. So he needed to build an ark, a light body, to be able to survive the flood. So that ties into... The electromagnetics were the electromagnetic field of the earth is really weak right now so a lot more radiation a lot more electromagnetic light and energy is coming in so what is it doing as earth's magnetic field is getting weaker it is allowing more electromagnetic light to come in and it is sparking up our arc so that we can survive the the flood of the holy spirit of this divine light of this electromagnetic energy that that you know, our, intu our intuitive things like religion and things call called it the Holy Spirit. Now science is calling it electricity. And so now it's like science and, and religion are merging together where the logical and the intuitive are merging together on a collective level. But individually, prophets have merged that within themselves. And so it's like we're merging that within ourselves. And on the collective, there's like this great purification that is happening right now. And it's happening on an individual level with certain souls that are going to come to the forefront to assist people with that that need help to go through this transition and this alignment within themselves so that they can survive the flood of this Holy Spirit so that so that when the magnetic field of the earth does completely go away, I know I know there's a lot of fear associated with it, but it's not a bad thing because our electromagnetic field around our bodies will protect us will will be functioning and it will get us through that period of however long if it even does collapse maybe that's not even part of the scenario but there's not there we don't need to have the fear about it because we will have our own and so people go through this first and that's where the archangels come in where i think that everyone has guides and everyone has their own unique archangel and so like an archangel like like Michael, right? I think that's just a title for someone that affects a certain electromagnetic arc of energy or a chakra or a certain point on their energy body. And I think religion has kind of misunderstood this, you know, especially when the prophets and the other prophets that are in the Bible too that 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 
describe this because I don't, I've never, I'm not really a big Bible reader. I'm not really like that type of a spiritual person, but I don't think Jesus really talked much about the archangels. Maybe he did, but I think a lot of the other prophets, they talked about the archangels and what the archangels is, that was just a title for a certain guide or a spiritual being or telepathic being that is helping you with with certain alignments with your light body with your vehicle of light your vehicle of ascension your your energetic body your ark your boat your ship right i i hope you're kind of like following that and so i think that's just kind of been the label and 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 so it's like it's like that's a title like so the four archangels of the four directions that's like the four rivers of light right that's like what the swastika is before hitler screwed it all up and made everyone afraid of it and turned it you know like swastika is a very uh it's, it's like a hindu symbol i think it's a sanskrit symbol so it goes you know so it's like the root of buddhism and hinduism it's like the root of every religion but it's like it's like the four rivers of life which is like the four hemispheres of the earth but it but it goes along with the electromagnetic field which is the river of life and so that one river then branches into four rivers and then those four rivers branch into other rivers or at least that's kind of the idea that i'm trying to bring forth of just something that i'm seeing and so i think there are four archangels or four spirit guides that when people are activating their light body there's assistance on a spiritual level in I don't I think this is a higher level of consciousness. I don't think this is a dimension outside of this universe. I think that's something people need to toss out the window of, oh, there's oh, you tune your frequency into that frequency. No, it's it, it's about aligning certain lenses of reality so that you harmoniously are focused in 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 aligned with all dimensions that are within this one universe. I think that's what it is. And I think those what people talk about twelve dimensions and related to the music scale, I think they're relating that to I think I think what that really is is that those are the twelve dimensions or lenses to view this reality as a human experience within this light body. And I think it actually goes beyond that. So to step outside of that that interpretation or that way of looking at it you might be able to see the whole picture so so i was just kind of looking briefly at at some of the angels and stuff and i really didn't look too much into it because i just saw a whole lot of that religious dogma but but i saw something there's like seven angels right or i don't i it like seven archangels so then that kind of like relates to the seven main chakras too as well and and now where i'm kind of at on my journey is i there there's so many other chakras that in that or energy vortices that that i really am very conscious of now and so i really have a hard time just saying with the seven ones but there there's like certain levels of mastery so there's like the level of mastery of the four archangels and then the seven and it's like this these are almost compartmentalized in a way of like platforms for someone that is going through this process of having a light body built this is these are like platforms that someone goes through in 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 and so it's like okay you've got the platform of the four archangels they've got that alpha sphere made for you okay now it's time to get your central channel and align those seven seven things okay it's like we got that okay now we need to do ground you with like your earth star and like amp up your energy there okay it's like we got that okay now we're gonna amp up your eighth chakra so that you can like connect with your soul family and be telepathic with your soul family is like now we got that those are just like other platforms and so what i'm seeing is that religion has kind of had this but people misunderstood it and then i think through the dogmas over time in 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 it not being understood got just a bunch of extra junk added to it but i'm seeing the truth in it in in how it probably once was in in i know i'm not the only one that's seen this i mean i, I mean i couldn't be right <laughs> but I just kind of want to share that with you and put a lot of this energy in this video and just to really share this video. I feel like I feel like I made I'm making good videos now and getting some good information out. So thank you. Um, 
trying to think of what else to say, what else I should should share. I think that's it. Uh, Calvin's over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to do another video. Thank you.